Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain why number formatting is not always copied down to new rows in an Excel table and how to fix it. So here we have an Excel table, and you might have experienced this kind of oddity before with tables. If I enter a number right here below the table and hit enter, we can see that number is formatted. It just carries the same number formatting as the cell above. But if I go over to this column here and I enter a number and hit enter, I don't get my formatting copied down. And this can also happen when we're copying and pasting data below the table. So I'll just hit Control Z to undo that. If I have some data over here and I just copy it and then paste it right below the table, the table extends. I have number formatting in this column, but no number formatting in this column. And the reason this happens is because the number formatting was not applied to all of the cells in this column at the same time. And I'll explain what I mean by that so you can see what happens here. So again, I'm just going to hit Control Z a few times to undo that. So let's just uh, change this column formatting back to a general number format, just start fresh. Now, what might have happened here is I might have first gone to this cell and then applied a number format. I'll just use this accounting number formatting here. And then I might have gone down to the rest of the cells in the column, selected all those, and then applied that same number formatting. But now when I come down here and I enter a new number, or paste data in, I don't get that formatting copied down. So again, I'm going to just undo that. So what we need to do to fix this is select all of the cells in the column, in the entire column here, and then apply the number formatting all at the same time. So with all of those cells selected in the column, I'm going to apply the number formatting, just hit that button there. Then we'll come down to the next cell, enter a number, and we can see our number formatting is now copied down. So I wanna share two ways to fix this. The first will be a bit of a manual solution like we just saw. And then the second way we can use a macro to make this very fast and easy to apply that formatting to all of our columns and all of the tables. So if we wanted to apply our number formatting to all of the cells in the column and just make sure the number formatting is applied, and if you have a really long table with a lot of rows, one easy way to, just, to select all of the cells in the column is to just Hover the mouse button right over here over the top half of the range until it turns into that down arrow and then just left click and that will select all the cells in the column here now another way to do that if you have any cells selected in the column keyboard shortcut is control space hold down the control key and press the space bar and that will select all of the cells in the column then once you have all of the cells selected, you can just go apply the number formatting. You can either do that from uh, the number, the home tab up here in the number group, we have different formats or the format drop down here. Now you can also do that if you have custom formatting, uh, if you just right click here and choose format cells, oh, you're not gonna be able to see that, but right click format cells, that'll bring up the format cells dialog here. And this is where you can apply some custom custom number formatting or some other number formats. Now it's important to know that if you do have a custom number format applied to all of the cells in the column already, but it wasn't applied all at one time, so you're still getting that issue where you enter new data down below and it's not formatting, you need to first make a change to the number formatting here. Choose something different and then press OK and then come back, open this up again and then choose your original number format and press OK. If you just open this up and press OK, it's not going to apply that new number formatting to the column. So just a little, another weird behavior there if you do have custom number formatting or you're applying your number formatting from the format cells window. And the keyboard shortcut for that is control one. That'll bring up that format that sales window. So if you're experiencing this issue on a lot of the columns in your table, and your table has a lot of columns, maybe 50 or 100 columns, then that might take a lot of time to go through each column and reapply the number formatting like that. So I've written a macro that'll do that for us with the click of a button, and we'll just jump into the VB editor here, and you'll be able to download this file that contains the macro. I'll put a link to that below the video. And within the uh, table number formatting file here, we have this table number formatting module. And there's three macros in here. The first one is called table number formatting. And this really just loops through each list column or each column within the table. In VBA, tables are called list objects. So we're just setting reference to the first list object or the first table on the active sheet 
and then uh, looping through all of the columns. That's what this line of code does here, using a for uh, next loop to just loop through all of the columns in that table. And then we set the number format of the data body range, so that's all the cells below the header row there, all the cells in that column. We set that number format equal to the number format of the first cell in the data body range. So this data body range property has some parameters here for a row index and a column index number. So this is really just saying the first cell in the column in the data body range of the column below the header. We'll take the number format of that, set that equal to the entire column. And that loop just runs really fast uh, through the entire table. And like I said, this will run on the first table in the active sheet uh, where we declare or we set the uh, list object variable right here. You could also use this line down here, just delete the apostrophe to uncomment that line and then comment this one out. And this line will allow you to specify a specific worksheet and a specific table name that you wanna run this code on. So that's another way to run it here. Now in the macro down below this, I also have one uh, for the selected table. So this macro will just run on whichever table you have selected. So you just have to select a cell inside the table, jump back to uh, Excel here, just select a cell, any cell inside the table, then go back to the VB editor and uh, just select anywhere in here and click the run button or F5 on the keyboard. That will run that macro. Runs really, really fast and that will uh, apply that number formatting to all of the columns and do it properly. So when you add data below, you won't have to reformat the numbers. And then finally, I have another macro down here that will wor work on all of the tables in the Excel file, in the active workbook. So in the active workbook, this is going to loop through each worksheet in the active workbook, then loop through each list object or each table within the sheet, within each sheet, and perform that same loop on all of the columns here to set that number formatting. So if you have a workbook with a lot of tables in it, then you can use this to make sure the number formatting is set properly. And you can also add these macros to your personal macro workbook. So I'd recommend either maybe this one or this one here for the selected table. You can add those to your personal macro workbook and then also add a custom ribbon. So I have this custom my macros ribbon here with macro buttons. And I have one right here called table number formatting. And when I press that button, that will just run the macro right here on the selected table and do the number formatting, update the number formatting. So that's a great little handy shortcut there. And I have a whole nother video series on the personal macro workbook and also creating this custom ribbon with these macro buttons up here. So I'll put a link to that below this video. I also have a video on getting started with tables. So if you're not using tables yet, Excel tables, I have a video on how those work and how to get started with tables. They're an awesome tool. They do have a few weird quirks to them, but all in all, they're a huge uh, benefit to us and save us a lot of time. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you'd like to learn more about macros, then join me for a free upcoming webinar on the seven steps to getting started with macros in VBA. During this training, I'm going to explain how to write your first macro, what order the code runs in, what the dots between the words mean, and some of these complex things that are hard to understand when we're starting out with macros. So this will really help you automate Excel and save a ton of time with your job. So click the link right below this video to get registered for the free webinar, and I look forward to seeing you there.